Hi guys, this is my first YouTube video and I'm doing a wash and go. I'm starting off with freshly washed hair and I will be splitting my hair into four sections. First, I'm going to be using the leave-in conditioner from Cantu. You want to make sure that this leave-in conditioner is all over that section of hair. If your hair is thicker than mine, you might need more. And if your hair is thinner, you might need less. I will be using some olive oil to lock in the moisture from the leave-in conditioner and to prevent my hair from being crunchy after it dries. the start of this video the wet line extreme gel if you have thick hair you might want to split your hair into a smaller section when you apply the gel start off with a little bit of gel so you can see how it works on your hair Really smooth the gel into your hair. Don't forget to get the roots of your hair because you don't want to find ends and puffy ends. When I do wash and goes, I like to do the shingling method, and that is pulling your hair into smaller pieces and rubbing your fingers across them for the best definition. If your hair gets a little dry, you need to re-wet it with a spray bottle because you get the best results on wet hair. Really smooth the gel into your hair. If you see any frizzy pieces, you can go back and rub your fingers across them or add more gel to them. This is what your hair should look like when you're all done. One hundred percent defined curls. 
Some of you may notice that my hair kind of grows in a V shape, whether it's curly or straight, that's how it grows. But when my hair is dry, it goes away. Look at that shrinkage. This is my hair completely dry and stretched out. And this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.